Hello everybody, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iaccino. Got a request for Ethereum Classic. So here's a little brief analysis on it. So far off this last little, so we had the sell off. Now I got the retracements on here for the GAN levels. We hit a nice low here, higher low. Now we've just put in a higher high, nice recovery pattern. Went sideways, separation of the moving averages caught on it, now pushing up. The next gain levels first did from the low to the high on the 21st, which gave us the 1861 and the 1934. And then on the last leg up to this pause right here, which gave us 1808, which we're pretty much closing at right now. And then we have this cluster at 1861 to 1863. So that's the next major level to watch for. And that really coincides with these candle bodies and this prior resistance area. So that's gonna be a very key level to watch. And right above that is the 50% retracement from this whole down move, which is a very key area. So all in here from 18, about 60, we'll just call it 1860 to 1887. Really watch that. If you haven't been moving up your stops, that's definitely a key place to move up your stops or potentially take some profits and add back on the next pullback to the rotation zone. First major level of support now is this prior breakout level, 1758, right around in there. You can see it was a little support over in here also. If we do pull back lower than that, really watch for the rising eight coming in with about the 17 area, 17 to 1715. That's what we'll be watching for also next key level of support. And if we do fall below that, the level we really don't want to break below is 16. 1597, 1614, right in here we got the hooking up 50, the hooking up 21, forming a dynamic rotation zone area. Okay, and then it also you can see right there is this prior support or resistance to becoming support. So you had resistance here and support all along there. And over here, you had this little area that was prior resistance and it's also now key support. So that's gonna be the really key area on a slightly bigger pullback. And if this doesn't push up soon, we might get a slight divergence. So we might be looking at that bigger pullback. Where I would start to get cautious is if we closed back below this 16 dollar mark let's check in on the daily let's try oh sorry that was the daily so we can't check in on the daily let me go to the four hour i thought we were on the four hour sorry all right so the four hour ah that was sort of funny i didn't realize i didn't switch back so you can see here moving out of that catch on the rotation zone slightly below it catch there catch there so really watch this rotation zone uh, the top of the rotation zone is coming in with that static area I talked about, that 1770. The bottom is coming in about that 1750 level. So that's the key hours to watch for on the four hour for our next push back up. So that's pretty much all we have just again on that daily. Watch for that, you know, watch for this key pullback areas and you don't want to close below that daily rotation zone. Next push up, if we can get through the 50% retracement mark, the next major area, 1934 is our minor area, the next major area we will be focusing on is right around this 2050 area. You can see all the way over here to the left, this was some prior support coming in. It's actually the 62.5% retracement, which is very key. Then above that, just a longer term view, we have the declining 200 right now coming into 75% retracement. Now the 200 is not going to move that quickly. It'll probably drop a little below that, but that's your next major area to watch for on a continued push higher. So that's what we'll be looking for. There's our brief analysis for Ethereum Classic. Hope everyone's doing great trading the cryptos and we'll talk to everyone soon bye for now